Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, we will be using Vieta's theorem. Given that we have a quadratic equation where my coefficients um, a and b plus 1 are both unknown. Right? So first, let us look at certain terms in the questions that deserve a little bit of attention. So first one being natural numbers. Natural numbers, we can easily see this as simply integers which are positive. Right? So numbers going from 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. Whereas composite numbers are basically numbers that are not prime. Right? Essentially, numbers that can be expressed as a product of two or more positive integers. Okay? Or you could simply see it as non-prime. Alright? Okay, so... Let us now tackle this question. So again, applying Vieta's theorem to this question. All right. If we let alpha and beta be the two roots of this particular quadratic equation that we're given, then the sum of my roots alpha plus beta would be negative a over 1, which is just negative a. In turn, my product of roots alpha times beta would be c over a, which is b plus 1 over 1, which is just going to be b plus 1, All right? So given that the expression that we want to start proving from is of the form a squared plus b squared, it might be a good idea to make a and b the subject of the formula first, such that a is negative alpha plus beta, and b is alpha beta minus 1. So now that we have these two forms, we can start to see that a squared plus b squared would be well, using this value over here, we have negative alpha plus beta bracket, whole thing squared, plus alpha beta minus 1, whole thing squared. Okay, and now we have no choice but to expand this and see what that gets us. So since we have a negative sign within the square, once squared it becomes a positive number. So we just need to square the expression that's inside which will give us this identity that we know. And for our second square, we have alpha squared beta squared minus 2 alpha beta plus 1 because this is of the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right, so now let us assess what we have. Sorry, this over here should be alpha beta. All right, you can see that 2 alpha beta here corresponds to negative 2 alpha beta over here. And therefore, they'll cancel each other out. And if we rearrange the remaining terms, this is what we have over here. All right. And it doesn't take much to see that this is an expression that can be factorized, seeing as you have common terms all over the place. All right. So we can factorize this into the form alpha squared plus 1 times beta squared plus 1. And since this form can't be factorized any further, let us take a step back and see whether we have achieved what the question is asking us to do. So again, we're trying to show that a squared plus b squared is a composite number, aka it's a number that's not prime. Now, given that alpha and beta are natural numbers, then these two must be natural numbers as well. All right? And since these two factors are considered natural numbers, you have shown that a squared plus b squared can be expressed as a product of two positive integers, aka natural numbers. And hence, this question is complete. We have successfully proven what they want us to do. All right. So again, from the top, firstly, since we are presented with a quadratic equation where all my coefficients are unknown, Instead of finding each individual root, it might be a better idea to express our roots, especially the sum and the product of roots, as a combination of a and b. And then, start working from a squared plus b squared, express it in the form of alpha and beta, and show that since we want to prove that it is a composite number, show that it ends up being a product of two positive integers, 
just like this. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.